Cause I ride for my click I get live with my click Don't get high with my click Do it down for my click Said it's all that I know Yeah, it's all that I know Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another rebuild on the channel. Uh, today we are building the San Antonio Spurs. Not building, rebuilding the San Antonio Spurs. First year in 22 years they have not made playoffs. 22 years and Greg Popovich has brought this team to the playoffs every year. Rip Tim Duncan. Not actually Rip. He's not dead. He's not dead. I just like I missed Tim Duncan. This roster sucks. I didn't realize how bad it was. We have a lot of big contracts. I'm probably going to keep Lonnie Walker. Other than that, everyone's going. Uh, and DeJounte Murray. Other than that, everyone's gone. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, there's not much to say. If you guys are new, please drop a sub. I would appreciate it. We're on the road to 800. And uh, I really would like to get to 800. So if you guys are watching this and you're not subscribed, please, 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 please subscribe. I'd appreciate that. Either way, let's get into it. Let's make some trades. Now, first off, everybody's been thinking, you know, DeMar is going. You know, he's gone, so that's been, like, the rumors is that we're both – they're both leaving. Um, I have no clue who's going to want DeRozan because DeRozan is so super easy to get every year. So, I don't know who we could pick up. McCollum is actually a nice idea. D'Lo is so easy to get. But what? Okay, Devin Booker. Welcome to San Antonio. That's an easy one. All right, Aldridge. Sure. That was easy. A pick, and wow. Okay. Steven Adams, DeRozan right back. Serge Ibaka, Blake Griffin, Karis LeVert. That might be the move. But then he'd have to run point guard, so I don't know. Mike Conley, Clint Capella, Jonas Valanciunas, Gordon Hayward, Kevin Love, Zach Levine. Ooh. Ooh. Actually, that's just so expensive. That's why I don't want John Wall. We'll pick up Levine. All right, this is the stereotypical rebuild, rebuild squad already. Um, it always looks like this. It's always Levine and Booker. And then Murray. Um, I'm going to trade White. Actually, no, no, no. No, back out. Ugh, I hate the load times on this game. You'd think this game would be fixed. Oh, wait. Oladipo? That's a lot of money, though. Uh, it's expiring. Mitchell Robbins. <laughs> Why? Why is this game always give me the easiest player? Like, these guys are all so easy. They're all so easy. Um, we're going to put Rudy Gato small four because he goes up. Patty Mills up. Pearl down. I like to move their positions because it gives them more trade value, okay? Gives them all more trade value. And I'm trading all these guys. They're not, none of them are staying. So, Marco Bellinelli is still in the league? No way. All right. So, first off, Rudy Gay. Goodbye, Rudy Gay. It's not because your last name. It's just because you're not good. Josh Richardson is always an option, and I've never picked him up, so I might pick him up. Tomato Bay Jr. is also always an option, who I've never picked up. Brogdon is an option that I've picked up a couple times. Same thing with Schroeder. Javon Green I've actually never picked up. We're going to pick up Josh Rich. Um, He'll be our backup. Man, he's an 80. The Patty Mills, that shooting guard, is an 80. is very... Interesting to me. Get Rudy Gay back. Thomas Bryan and Bertrands, which is going to be the move probably. Danilo Garnari. This pick has a lot of value, actually. I'm not going to trade that. Let's see what we can get for just Patty Mills. Oh, wow. It wasn't even that. It was just Patty Mills. Okay. We're going to pick up. Wait. Yeah. No. Why? Yes. Okay. Got Gallinari. I might move him to small forward. How much do you go up at small forward? Alright. Uh, yeah. I mean, that only goes up because they're used to that position. So, I like our starting five. And our bench is actually solid, too. I'm just going to have to move Forbes. Actually, Forbes, you can stay. Actually, you're old. Trey Lyles, you can go. Muscala, you'll go. I'm going to keep Lonnie Walker, though. For sure. Koge? Yeah, sure. I swear, like, every player, it's always the same players when you do this. Mike Scott. It's always the same guys, man. Luke Cornett. I've actually never seen that guy in this trade system. Deladova got a 10 mil contract with them? Crazy. Corey Joe has that big. 
of a contract. Frick. Gallinari is really expensive. Can I? Does he have value? Like how? How valuable is Danilo? Steven Adams worthy. That's interesting. Derek Favors worthy. Spencer Dinwiddie worthy? Yes. Yeah, because then Mitch Rob can go back to power forward and we can pick up a true center. Murray would come off bench. I mean, he could still play power forward for us. Then again, you always know who I like to pick up. I do always pick up Cousins every, every rebuild, because why not? Um, I don't want Turning Prince on this squad. Taj. Taj, yeah. Man, I wish Taj was still the Bulls Taj, but he's not, unfortunately. We'll keep these two, because hopefully they'll progress. Same with Josh, Hernan, Gomez, and Smanek. That Collins, Norman Powell. Joe Harris to spread the floor. Jalen Brunson, actually. Good. Right. All right. Do that and trade Powell away. And then we'll sign Cousins. So, where's Powell at? What do you offer me in terms of people? Aaron Baines. Perfect. I actually don't even need to pick up Sun now. Bring him back to the Spurs. And then we'll trade you too. For a that and then we can have it so Baines comes off the bench all right CPU rebuild Murray Booker Levine Rob cousins with Vinity rich that's a good first year lineup I'm not gonna lie all right I'll see you guys at the end of the season I'm not gonna make any trades at the deadline unless something crazy gets offered but till then I'll see you at the end of the first regular season at the end of the first season, Giannis wins MVP as always. Dylan Windler, Rookie of the Year as always. Don Schroeder as always. Like, these are pretty much predictable. If you guys haven't seen the other rebuilds or you haven't ever seen a rebuild on YouTube on 2K21, you should already know who wins the awards. But we won Coach of the Year. 61-21, all these guys. I don't think there's going to be a single spur. If there are, it might be Booker. But there isn't. We're the first seed in the West. And I want to say the league. I want to. I don't know their record. What was their record? I actually don't know their record. I'm assuming we're the best team in the league because, you know, I, I made this team. We're going to simulate the first round. I think we're fine against the Lakers. Should be. Who knows? Actually, LeBron's kind of Jesus Christ. So, oh, we're fine. Okay. Now we're playing most improved player, Ja Morant. Um, both the second seed. Okay, the second seed's out for the West. So, really, if we beat Memphis, we're fine. But we're not going to beat Memphis. We're down 3-0. No way we come back down 3 God damn it! We lost to John Morant, who's going to go to the finals and probably win it all. Because that's just how life works. Memphis in four. They, there's already been... Denver? You're kidding. The seventh seed went to the finals and is getting swept by the Boston Celtics. God damn it, man. Okay, I don't know if I have enough money to acquire Giannis. Like, the Spurs do every single rebuild. Like, every rebuild. When it's simmed, Giannis goes to the Spurs. So, I'm confused on where he might go. I don't know what teams have cap. Player retirements, none of that's going to matter for us. Gorn, wait, did I say Gorn Dragic? Why is Gorn Dragic retiring? He had, he had his best year in like five years. Okay, <laughs> weird. Uh, our draft pick, I should have traded because it's not worth like anything anymore. Like at all, which makes me really sad because that draft pick was worth quite a lot. Oh, we did trade it. Never mind. Who am I talking to? Not myself. Draymond Green. A lot of these players, like, I could trade for. Thing is, is I'm losing Mitch Spencer. And the only ones who are making a lot of money is, like, these two. But are both of them for Giannis worth? I don't know. I don't, I don't really know, actually. I feel like Booker over Giannis is okay. He's going to get re-signed. How much in cap do we have? That's the thing. These guys were going to just renounce all their rights. You know, Jacob's not that much. Jakob, I should say. Sorry. His name is Jakob Porto. I think. I'm assuming. All right. We have, like, no cap room, apparently. Negative eight, you're telling me? All right. All right. All right. Who are we moving? DeJounte Murray. No, nah, we're going to move Levine because we're going to have a small forward if we lose him. Um, Russell Westbrook. Ooh. That might be better than Yacht. 
Heaven knocks. I hope this clears enough cap, because I'm going to feel really stupid if I trade him away for nothing. I mean, I could get... Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook, dude. There's a lot of good options on the table. But I'm going to try to get Giannis. So we're going to do this. That clears some cap and gives us a pick. I mean, it doesn't... It doesn't do a lot of cap. But Murray, for like nothing, for like a good player that's not a lot of money. Chris Paul, straight up. I mean, shit. Two really important first round picks. All right. This might be bad. I might have fucked us. Chat. I'm not even chat because I'm not streaming. Uh, comment, people. If I fucked us, let me know in the comments. Oh, no. We're fine. We got Giannis. That's an easy lockup. That's an easy lockup! Let's go! We, we got him. Sorry. I just I got really excited. Renounce rights. Renounce all these kids. Let's go, baby. We got Giannis. All right. Fuck yeah. Welcome to squad, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, we still have 9 million cap. No way. No way, because we still have him. Let's move you to small forward. We still have Boogie Cousins. So, Boogie, Mitch, Book. Then we have Wendell off the bench, Brunson. Oh, wow. So, we really just need a point guard? Are you for real right now? Affordable point guards? Lou Will. <laughs> Dennis Schroeder. Yes. Four years for Dennis. Oh. Okay, right, so we got to renounce. I renounce his rights as well. All right, so we saw... We got Dennis. Point guards, affordable. All players, affordable. What do we need? I feel like Baines on the team again is not, like, a bad move. Because we have Brunson. I feel like a big man's not a bad move, but I don't want to get... What do you call it? I don't want to get Baines because he's going to digress and Rashawn Holmes is just going to grow. So affordable shooting guards. That's kind of what we need. Damian Lee. Justin Holiday. Any of these guys will go up higher than us. Seven. Nah, we're going to... We're going to eat you. All right. Oh, are you really not going to sign on me? That's quite rude of you. Should insta accept this. Come on. You're going to play for Greg Popovich and with Giannis. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Could we start, metaphorically speaking? I can just start Schroeder. Moving my small forward, Lonnie Walker. Back to shooting guard. And we'll trade for Sean Holmes. Actually, no. Uh, I don't have much money, so I'm just going to kind of sign the best affordable players. Oh, shit. I can still get Baines. I'll lock him up for two years. Who else is affordable? Wait a minute. Nah, he's like the best affordable player. Baines, please come back. We'll have so many trade pieces, which sucks. Because I feel bad that I'm just going to instantly trade Baines. All right. Cool. What do I have for... I have a lot of big men. So, Holmes, what are you going to go for? Huh? What can you give me in terms of worth? Covington? Seku? T. Ross gives me that backup shooting guard I need. So, I might go that. Yeah. We're going to go... Go T. Ross. And then we have that pick that we got. So I can trade you. And this Pistons pick, which the Pistons pick is probably going to be worth quite a bit. So who can we get? Dante kind of gets buckets. Bear him back up with Giannis. Move you back to point guard. And we have Dante at shooting guard. Terrence Ross also at shooting guard. Yeah. Yes. And then we'll trade this Lee, man. Where are you going to go, Mr. Lee? I know I just signed you. I feel bad. Oh, my God. I could get my Matisse. Tebule. I can get Daniel Gafford now. We're going to get Matisse. My boy. All right. I like this squad. We'll just fill it with whoever they make us trade. And I'll see you guys at the beginning of the next season. Or not trade. Sign. But, yeah. I'll see you at the beginning of the next season. All right, we're at the start of the second season, but the first trade I'm going to do is I'm going to snag Washington and Miles Bridges just because I do not have a big man off the bench, and then it makes it so I don't need T. Ross. So I'm going to actually trade T. Ross now, 
and probably package him. Nah, nah, we'll just see. Brooke Lopez, that gives me another big man. Dwight Howard, that gives me a big man, but Dwight Howard's kind of crappy. Brooke Lopez, yes. And then you become kind of like an unstoppable god at power forward. So, we'll move you there. And I'm sure PJ Washington will still get minutes, I'd assume. Have CPU rebuild. Mitch Rob, yes. I don't know why the game thinks that Matisse should start and not Devin Booker. But, oh yeah. And then we're going to... Schroeder's not even... Oh no, that's a crime. Well, we have Lopez. So we really have our two bigs off the bench. So I'm going to try to get rid of... PJ and Miles, even though I just picked him up. So, TJ Warren, Bull Bull. Sorry, it's uh, TJ Warren's probably a better idea, but Bull Bull's just so good in this game. So now, we're going to give Bull Bull those minutes for sure, those starter minutes. So now I'm going to try to pair him with some, with a star, Michael Porter Jr. Oh, I don't want to get rid of. What's his face though? Sharder. That's the thing. Pick up TJ Warren. Michael Porter Jr. That might be worth Rui or we can get Zach Levine back. John Collins isn't bad either. Honestly, I'm not too worried about Schroeder. That's not even the best one out of all of them, is it? In terms of giving up him. Yeah, because that Michael Porter Jr. trade is nice. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. Because then, run you here, run you there. Dude, this lineup's dirty. This lineup is insane. And then off the bench, we have Brunson, Matisse. Our bench gets kind of weak now, though. So we're going to have to trade for some bench pieces. Uh, fix rotations manually. Hold up. Obviously, you're going to get more minutes than that. We have a lot of young guys, too. That's a thing. All right. I need to see what I can get out of, like, you. Steven Adams, for real? <laughs> okay. Thanks. Gives us that bench. Bull Bull's going to start. And then we have that bench center we need. We have Matisse off the bench. We have him off the bench. We'll just take these two away, too. Take me away to a faraway place. Take me away, take me away. I'm sorry, I don't. Pfft, that singing is awful. I'm sorry for making you guys listen to that. Quite rude of me. I fucking suck at singing. Is there anyone like affordable I can get? Like shit cheap? Like dog shit cheap? Bembury? Sure. Who else? Who else? Trey Burke? Actually, let's get IT. And we'll get like a big man too. A really cheap big man. Uh, it's not really cheap big man, apparently. That's really weird. Marvin Williams is a god, by the way. Shout out him. We just retired. Really? Wow, you won't leave too much money, sir. Alright, go back to this. I like that. Obviously, we can adjust these minutes now. You should not be getting that much ever. You're just not that good, man. Sorry. Sorry to break it to you. Uh, Bobo, you're still going to get starter minutes, but Steven Adams for sure. Yeah, I like that. I like this lineup. I like this Spurs lineup. Pop can work with it. All right, I'll see you. Actually, is Pop still our coach? I didn't even think about that. He might have resigned. Oh, no, he's still our coach. He re-upped for a four-year? All right. Yes, sir. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Holy shit, guys. At the end of the season, guys, we win 80 and 2. What? I, like, know we built a good team, but I did not think we were going 80 and 2. So, thumbnail title, or th thumbnail video title, going 82 and 0 with the San Antonio Spurs. Like, that's that's the title. I'm sorry. You, you heard it here first. Uh, MVP, Giannis, doing big things. Rookie of the year, some dude on the Pacers. Sixth man of the year. DeMar DeRozan, I'm glad he's doing things outside of Sac, or not Sacramento, San Antonio, that's good. Defensive player of the year, Anthony Davis, most improved DeAndre Jen. Coach of the year, Greg Popovich. Pop 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 um, yeah, he went 80 and 2. Giannis, whew. Darren Fox, all NBA second team, interesting. But we didn't have a single other player 
on an all NBA team. Man, Kawhi signed with the Grizzlies. Why does that always happen? Uh, DeJounte Murray, all defensive first team. Good for him. Good for him. All right. We're the first seed. There's no reason we lose a single game in playoffs, but who knows? If we lose more games in playoffs than we did the whole regular season, I'll laugh. But that's an easy sweep right there against Sacramento. Wow. We're playing DeMar DeRozan. He uh, took the Lakers to seven and won. So that's interesting. We beat them. Easy. Uh, Kawhi and Ja came back down 3-1 against Dallas. Let's see if we can get re 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 revenge. We definitely can. Damn, we lost two. Oh my fuck. I thought we were going to lose that. Alright. Time to play Boston. That's a chip. There's no way we lose to Boston, is there? No way. Let's go. We won more. We lost more in the playoffs than we did the regular season, but finals MVP, Giannis. Playoff stats, league leaders. Not, wait, no, no, no. I don't want to look at playoff stats. I want to look at player stats for the season and see how the team did. Obviously, Giannis was MVP. Then you had Devin Booker averaging 25. Bobo, who was a great pickup. I knew I should have did it when I did it. I'm glad I did. 29, pretty much. Michael Porter Jr., I mean, when you have three players averaging 20 or more and one's averaging 31, what can you do? That's like a 70 point between three of them. That's crazy. Michael Porter Jr. with 13. Brunson with 10. He actually played better than... Damn. All right. That's crazy. But Steven Adams still got buckets, too. He's better than Mitch Robb. Wow. We really won that. We got Isaiah Thomas' chip. I'm glad we could do that for him. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I think we should end it off here in the second season. If you want me to do a second part of this to see how dominant this team continues to be because we built a crazy team we really did we built a really really great team if you guys want to see how this does in the future let me know down in the comments below i'll make another video on it if not thank you guys so much for watching if you're new leave a comment down below sub if you're new all that good stuff say hi you know what's up leave a like and as always it's been your boy little codeine peace out I'm the bees knees, these hoes, yeah they just love me Flow so cold, but my nose straight runny Got a lot of bros, so don't act funny Shooting off shots, gun hopping like a bunny Run up on me, you a motherfucking dummy You know I do these